Hi. Now for this question, we're being asked to write 4 cos theta minus 2 sine theta then in the form r cos theta plus alpha, where r is greater than 0 and alpha is an acute angle between 0 and 90 degrees. Now, when you get questions like this, they're very common. You should be familiar with these particular set of identities. And if you look back in some of my earlier videos, I've shown you how we can prove this result. Now, when it comes to 4 cos theta minus 2 sine theta, we're looking at this last identity here. I can see that 4 cos, let's just put it down here, 4 cos of theta minus 2 sine theta is identical in form to this form here. Although I've got an x in it, I can say that it's identical to a cos theta minus b sine theta. And from here, I can see that a must be 4, so I'll just put that in here, where a equals 4, and b is not minus 2, it's just the 2. We've got the minus here, okay? So b is equal to 2. And when we've got that, we can get r. r is equal to the square root of a squared plus b squared. I'll just put that in there as a squared plus b squared. And so that's going to be equal then to the square root of 4 squared plus 2 squared. 16 plus 4, 20, square root of 20. You could leave it like that if you wish, or you could break it down to the square root of 4 times 5. And we can square root the 4, which is 2, and just leave the other as root 5. OK? Now for alpha, we can see up here that alpha is equal to the inverse tan of b over a. I'll just write it down again that alpha equals the inverse tan of b over a. And for this, it's going to be the inverse tan then of b, which is 2, divided by 4. In other words, the inverse tan of a half. Now make sure your calculator's in degrees mode, and if you work that out, you should find you get 26.5650 and so on, and that will be in degrees. So therefore, when it comes to expressing 4 cos theta minus 2 sine theta in the form, okay, r cos theta plus alpha, it's going to be root 20, or you could write it as 2 root 5, it's up to you. And then it's going to be the cosine of theta plus alpha. And if I round alpha, say, to three significant figures, that's going to be 26.6 degrees. I'll just put that as 3SF at the end there, okay?